Listín Diario Editorial for September 15th of 2023. National Dignity Held High In two extremely critical moments for the destiny of Haiti, the Dominican Republic knew how to put aside all diplomatic formalities and devote itself to authentic acts of solidarity towards that unfortunate people. One was in 1991, as a result of the trade embargo imposed by the Organization of American States, condemning Haiti to a very serious supply crisis of all kinds, as a political punishment against military coup. The current president, Joaquin Balaguer, risking his belt as ruler and defying the mandate of the Latin American nations, allow Haiti to surreptitiously receive from our country the basic supplies for the subsistence of the people. The other demonstration was in January of 2010, when a furious and devastating earthquake devastated that country, and our country lifted all immigration restrictions so that Haitians could find shelter, health care, and food here. In the following days, the Dominican Republic shouldered the tremendous burden of feeding, sheltering, and providing health care to the suffering population without taking its toll on them. Despite this eloquence of selflessness and sacrifice, Haitians have not known how or have not wanted to reciprocate those gestures. They have been fundamentally ungrateful. They have aligned themselves with groups and organizations that activate campaigns against our country, denouncing us as racist or xenophobic in order to impose rules and laws on immigration and treatment of refugees that suit their interests. And now, they have reached the heat of violating a bilateral treaty to try to use, in a brava, the waters of the Massacre River, ignoring Dominican request that such access be made by common agreement without alterations of the environment. The immediate response without half measures from the government of President Luis Abinader was to give him an ultimatum to stop the work under penalty of ordering the total closure of the air, sea, and land borders with Haiti, which has just happened. With this measure, President Abinader has unquestionably defended the national dignity, sovereignty, and security of the country in the face of a hostile and unfriendly gesture from our neighbors. Dominican society exposed to serious dangers due to the crisis of violence and ungovernability in Haiti must close ranks in support of these punitive measures no matter the political, economic, or social cost they might have temporarily for the country. The Dominican Republic must be respected as a free and sovereign nation that has carved out its dignity through blood and fire fighting against foreign interveners. It is not true that a group of uncontrollable Haitian bandits can now make us British or on our knees, forgetting the glorious and triumphant military exploits of our history, threatening reprisals. There. For Listin Diario, voice over and translations by Indira Rodriguez.